If you prefer a straightforward AMP simulation with no complicated menus, no updates, no software, all that stuff, just turning some knobs and flip some switches, straightforward analog AMP simulation. Maybe this is the right thing for you. As a professional guitar player with deep appreciation for vintage amplifiers, I often find myself caught between the allure of tradition and the demands of modern practicality. While my heart remains loyal to classic amps, the realities of performing on TV and touring have compelled me to embrace contemporary technology. Over the years, I've explored various amp simulations, starting with the iconic Line 6 pot later the camper amp that I still use. Yet there is an undeniable appeal to simplicity. Sometimes I long for a straightforward rig where all my settings are visible at a glance. No menus to navigate, no updates, no software, all that stuff. Just intuitive controls right in front of me. This approach lets me focus on what truly matters, crafting great music and delivering standard performances whether I'm on stage or in the studio. All the sounds you can hear in this track came straight out of this box. The distortion, the crunch sounds and all the equalization, everything came out of this thing by turning the knobs or dip the switches here. You have an effects loop, a stereo effects loop here on the back where I put in my HX effects by um, line 6 and I dialed in some delays and uh, reverb and some modulation all the stuff you know and uh, you have your effects after the preamp so no worries about distortion and um, yeah this is like an effects loop in a normal amplifier you can use the onboard reverb but i didn't use it here only at one track i think but um, yeah i had some uh, spring reverb on my hx effects so i didn't use this one fun fact here is that this thing is completely analog you don't have any latency you don't have updates, downloads or menus, as I said. And uh, the feel playing guitar over this thing is really natural. It's such a good uh, cap simulation here. And uh, yeah, it's so much fun playing over this thing. With this switches, you can dial in your amp sound. You have a AC Brit kind of sounds. It emulates a classic AC30 top boost sound described as a sparkling and three-dimensional sound, bridges, the normal and the bright channel. 
represents true British heritage since the 60s. The middle position here emulates a classic basement, described as sweet and dynamic with a balanced response, considered the most commonly used amp in studio recording. And the last position is a classic clean to crunch vintage Black Sea style amp. Has bridged high low inputs described as the sound that defined rock music. With this dip switches you can choose your cabinet. A 112, a 212 and uh, the last position is a 4x12 cabinet for each channel. So you could use a 112 in this, on this side and a 412 on the other side, so no problem. Um, the speaker color knob allows you to fine-tune the treble mid-range based on different speaker types. Black based on vintage eminence, high power speakers typical on Fender combos, balanced and smooth. Blue based on Alnico Blue speakers mid-range, rich and defined but not harsh. Green based on greenback speakers, good for crisp martial tones or when more definition is needed. In my job as a guitarist in, um, in TV shows and in the studio, um, I always have to use digital amplifiers. I use the Camper amp. Um, I have the Dream here, the Universal Audio Dream. It's just a good thing. It's, all those things, they sound really great. Some of them have more latency, some less. You have to use updates, you have to install stuff and um, you have so much options. And sometimes I love making music with no options, just one sound or maybe two sounds. Only the concentration on your music and um, the creative process. And um, yeah, sometimes I like to work like that. So I like them both. But as I said, sometimes the easy stuff and the pedal board is the thing I want to use. This is the simplifier and I really like this thing. So give it a try. Thank you for listening. Push the button. And subscribe to my channel if you like the stuff. And please come back. Nice to see you again. So, have a good time. Bye-bye.